the professional doctorate in sustainable development at Curtin University linked to universities and other centres around the world is an attempt to do something about these sustainable development goals. It's a new concept but it is gathering enormous momentum as people recognise the need to have training in how to do the delivery of sustainable development at the grassroots. So this doctorate will be in situ, it will be working in the villages, in the cities, in the informal settlements, wherever there is need to develop in a way that ends extreme poverty and at the same time reduces carbon footprint, creates healthy communities and educated communities, does all of these amazing goals together. We believe there's enormous innovation occurring out there and we want to tap that and tell the world about it. With the Sustainable Development Goals coming in in 2015, the Professional Doctorate is a fantastic opportunity uh, for people who are working on sustainability projects to stay in situ in the place where they live and work. A lot of people will be professionals wanting to come and do research but not having a research background but doing really important things in the field for sustainability and for the sustainable development goals. So the DSD, Professional Doctorate, we help people with a little bit of coursework but they might need some help to figure out the best research methods, they might need a little bit of help on the latest theories around sustainability but mostly you want to stay where you are and get on with the projects that you're doing where you live and where you work and we can help you do that and provide some of the finest minds in sustainability across the planet to, to support you. So my, my research is on uh, high quality public deliberation and uh, local public policy issues like uh, street design and deciding on spaces for hawkers and vendors while also making uh, spaces for pedestrians and various other users and uh, participatory governance especially participatory budgeting. So these are all local issues. I need to interact with uh, local stakeholders, local government, many different uh, types of people. And so I need to be situated in my own uh, reality in the local context. But um, CUSP and my research guides at CUSP uh, have been uh, leaders in uh, looking at deliberative democracy and the thinking and practice of deliberative democracy. You know, it's uh, quite interesting to read about the experiences of um, other researchers and other practitioners the world over. And the theory sounds great that, okay, you get stakeholders involved, engaged, and then you try out these deliberative tools and techniques and uh, oh, voila, you have participatory governance, but that's not how it is turning out. From our work with United Nations volunteers, it became very clear that the engagement of citizens in their own development and owning what they need um, is so crucial to long-term sustainable development. And I think that experience is something that we really want to strengthen and promote as part of the Doctorate in Sustainable Development to help people to work with local communities, local institutions and connect them with national and global institutions to achieve what can be achieved when people are at the centre of their own development as opposed to just being told what to do from others. Um, it gives it quite a different impetus, quite a different sense of sustainability and uh, a great sense of hope because people themselves are making a difference in their own lives and connecting with others that also want to make a difference. My mother was an accountant, my father was a freedom fighter so I'm a pragmatic idealist and so um, part of me is attracted to the, the SDGs because they represent a real opportunity for idealism and pragmatism to come together. Um, but as an activist and someone who's worked in a technical capacity on issues of gender, issues of social justice um, across Africa, but primarily in Southern Africa for most of my life, I also know that UN processes tend to be bureaucratic and slow and need a kind of energy and politics that comes from outside and not from within. And so I'm um, cautiously optimistic about the sustainable, sustainable development goals. Um, but what I think is more interesting and more important perhaps than the SDGs are programs that seek to get people thinking and talking and being activists around the kind of goals and the kinds of things that we need to change our world. 
So it seems to me that something like this program would be fantastic because it's not about necessarily getting everyone to buy into the idea of the goals, although that's somewhat important, but it is about getting people to buy into the notion that sustainability is important and that changing the way that we structure the functioning of this world, whether that's economically, culturally, or socially, and the damage that that's done to our environment is important. And then getting people to mobilize around doing that. Um, so, you know, from the African context, I can't imagine what's more important than that at this particular moment in time. And so, when I heard about this program, it seemed to me like being able to acknowledge that Africans are really at the forefront of doing very important sustainability work um, that, are, that we are often feeling the effects first and therefore having to adapt first. Um, and then that often gets written up in ways that aren't owned by us, that the process isn't owned by us. And this feels like a really nice way to merge people's practical lived experiences with a kind of academic rigor and theory that we are perfectly capable of doing but are seldom afforded the opportunity to do. So being able to meld those two um, feels like a really great idea. The amazing part about this program is that young professionals and, and government agencies can work on projects in country that enable them to deliver the sustainable development goals with the support of the international sustainability community, led of course by Professor Peter Newman. And being able to stay in the country means they can make a real contribution during their study and quickly and professionally communicate what they're learning in their projects to, to other projects all around the world, really in, in close to real time. So we can really accelerate the on-the-ground implementation of the development goals. So being able to provide a scholarship for them to stay in country and get the best out of the international networks through Curtin University and its, and its partners can really provide them with a unique opportunity to make a difference in their country and to share that with the rest of the world. I'm a big fan of goals. I'm a big fan of setting objectives and my experience is with the Millennium Development Goals, the mere fact of the goals have made a huge, huge difference of directing attention and energy. By defining our goal more clearly, by making it seem more manageable and less remote, we can help all people to see it, to draw hope from it, and to move irresistibly toward it. And I believe that's what the Millennium Development Goals have helped to do, and what the Sustainable Development Goals that are to be promulgated next year aim to do as well. So we will be publishing in paper, in digital form, whole new areas of research that emerge as we integrate these amazing goals and try to show there is a future for the world.